हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डॉक्टर अमित बायो केमिस्ट्री दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन इम्यूनोलॉजी एंड दिस इज टेकन अप बाय मी आनंदिता झा सो आई एम अ पीएचडी स्कॉलर आई एम परसुइंग माय पीएचडी इन इम्यूनोलॉजी राइट सो इन दैट इम्यूनोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज वी हैड ओवर व्यू in the first part make sure you watch the first video then you, then you come to this second second one right so today we have the introduction to immune system and immunology right okay it's in your screen don't get afraid that you landed in a geography class it's a immunology class and you are at the right place see you can see many countries here it's a map of world actually you see russia here this is russia Uh, this is U.S. United States. This is China, right? See why these countries are powerful? Do you know these countries are considered powerful because they had huge defense system, right? Their defense system is huge. Defense system means something which protects, right? These are the boundaries of the country. You see this? These are boundaries. This boundary, for suppose, touching another country. So another. countries people could not enter here and harm so that's why they had certain kind of personnel police man or other thing they are deputed all there so that it could not get any kind of uh, uh, you know harm to the country or country people now we will see uh, why i have used these kind of things because i want you to fell in love with immunology the classical way of learning immunology will not work now You see, whenever you open any book, I'm not asking about that physiology, Samuel Lincoln book, and the first thing or anything which is written, right? Uh, likewise, when you start with immunology, it's all about you have uh, first part as hematopoietic stem cell is there. There are organs, there are cells. No, everyone knows that. that's a very classic way of teaching. Just see it in a bigger picture. Right? What you find is. immune system is studied here as a whole right whole means it's a branch of life science or biological science where what do we study we study about the weapons players battle field training centers examination centers as well as the production center of the immune system as a whole this immune immune system or immunology what we say has been derived from a latin word immunis immunis means exempted now exempted from what exempted from intruders trespassers invaders or anything which is attacking our defense mechanisms right now you see when it comes to weapons just think about the protein products or we can have antibodies right antibodies okay when it comes about the players so they are the cells of immune system right when it comes about the battlefield so battlefield is here i have written a statement battlefield can be anywhere where there is attack that is the battlefield right then have the training centers training centers means we have thymus we have different organs uh, just for say thymus spleen etc we have examination center where the cells or immune cells are tested right that whether they are working properly or not right now when it comes to production center what is that see production system is bone marrow this is without any confusion whether b cell or t cell any other cells they are produced in bone marrow exclusively now now see when it comes to immunology we only consider that uh it is about the study of immune system or something called the organs or whatsoever right but when it comes to the bigger picture uh it is actually immunology is the better understanding of complete defense system containing organ cells molecules signaling interactions reactions as well as impact over the body Okay. Let's move forward towards the history of uh, this. Somewhat we we need to learn about history, right? It was 430 BC. Uh, it's a story of plague in Athens. Athens in 
is in Greek. What uh, what was done that uh, people were suffering from plague. Plague is a disease, a bacterial disease that happens by by the you know mercy of Yerasina pestis. You know, I I think this is a very common thing, right? So whoever has been recovered from plague were only allowed to nurse the people who are suffering from plague. So this was the first, very first incident of uh, uh, in the history of immunology. Then in 1718, there were lady Mary Woodley Montagu. She was a wife of bureaucrat who was posted to Turkey as an ambassador. So what she did, she actually vaccinated. Right, vaccinated means she has used the bus of uh, the child or um, or the person who had cowpox and given it to other children so that they will be protected. She does the same with her own children also. Now, in 1798, Dr. Edward Jenner, as we know, this is a very common kind of scenario that he has discovered all about the cowpox, chickenpox, right? Now, see, when it comes to players, uh, I will divide, uh, uh, this is my, you know, thing, I will divide it into three parts. Right, just see the very first, the very first is the soldiers. Right, when it comes to the players, I have divided it into first soldiers, second is the reporting officers, and third is the commanding officers. See, soldiers mean they are first to the battlefield. Right, uh, everyone has put um, used to put status on WhatsApp, so, so that's why I have taken this picture from there. Uh, in order to personify those things or resemble that. Right, see, uh, we have here, uh, suppose somebody had put a status that is a finger and had a, had a cut, right? So, who are the first two be? They are macrophages, neutrophils, mast cells, and platelets. It is just a depiction, you know. So, we can consider the first to the battlefield is the soldiers, right? They can be mast cell or neutrophils, macrophages, right? Then the reporting officers. Reporting officers are someone who used to take all that uh, you know evidences from the battlefield and just report to the commanding officers. The commanding officers can be B cells and T cells. Here till now, so, uh, you just keep in mind that they are B cells and T cells, right? After that, further means. Uh, see this figure. This is a figure from Kubi. It is a phagocytic cell. Uh, this is macrophage. This green one is the macrophage, and this is the bacteria. How it is phagocytic? This says, right. After that, what we will see is, so for the understanding of this, uh, actually this uh, uh, scenario, just consider a family situation, right? So just to make things very simple, you see, first of all, this is child A, and this is child B. Both were friends sometime, but now they had fight. What they do? They just resolve in themselves. Right. So they are just, they, uh, he also have certain group of people. Uh, he also have certain group of people. Let's say this is group B people and group A people. Uh, all will come and they just have fight, everything will be, some, sometimes they will get injured and all. So this is the condition when they will try to resolve themselves. This condition is similar to that I have told in, as a, uh, the soldiers, right, of the immune cell which comes and they used to fight at the battlefield. But what if they can't? They just pass on this thing to the elder brother of the system. See, this is a very uh, kind of uh, confusing scenario that brother or elder brother or sister they definitely tell to mom that. No doubt, no, but we will tell. First, suppose the child has told to the mother, uh, the elder brother, right? So he what did? He had just told to mom. Consider mom as T cells and your elder brother as antigen presenting cell. So he will present these things to the parents, right? Uh, by adding some spices also, he will just present. Similar to antigen presenting cells. Now mom is considered that T cell, I am saying, because she will come to the battlefield and just resolve the issue and things will be good. Next day everything will be okay. But when it is said to dad, consider him as B cell. Considered him as B cell. Why I am saying because you know because the dad is considered as B cell because he will definitely go to the battlefield and resolve these issue between the two child. But but 
he will remember the face of this child in the further future and protect his own child from further attack as b cell does in our immune system uh, this is the simplest illustration i can make uh, for better understanding of the players of the immune system right so this time today i am not going to add any mcqs rather i do have certain kind of homework for you and that is uh, you need to do two things number 1 read 22 pages of kobe right it will give you a better picture and second is i'll put the link of a research paper about this vaccination and start of immunology read that then uh, you need to also read about cell signaling cell signaling is a very small chapter in cooper uh, cell biology it's a cell and molecular approach uh, cooper the very first video i have put the, the introduction about that see so do uh, do not read only from the physiology first chapter right about the cell signaling no cell signaling is of many types in fact basically three types within the cell signaling or cell to cell signaling as well as cell to environment right so read this from cooper i hope it's there in your med school library or otherwise you can download and read so this is all about uh, the introduction of plays of immune system uh, rest we will see in the next part till then take care have a nice day and thank you very much for your patient listening just remember these things and thank you